If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gained, you will also suffer defeat. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. Sun Tzu, The Art of War Adaptation One of the most important parts of competitive Smash Brothers. Just like the quote says, In order to defeat your enemy, you need to know them. But what if your enemy or is you? How do you win? Well, it could be as simple as changing your combo, or changing the way you do things in a certain sequence. And that brings us to a mix-up. A mix-up is when you change your pattern of play in a way that potentially traps your opponent based on them reacting to what they think you're going to do instead of what you're actually going to do. Hello everybody, my name is Spectre and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today uh, is a requested video, actually I got requested this video a while ago. Um, well, maybe not a while ago, but a few weeks ago. Um, uh, it is some mix-ups about my main character Ness and um, why you should use mix-ups and things like that so um yeah sorry for the lack of uploads in recent times I have just had a lot to do with school and um, life and even um, you know, with my Smash Bros life I had some crew battles recently and just uh, it's a whole thing but um, yeah I am almost done with school so two weeks left I believe but uh, I'm almost almost school so this summer I should have an increase of uploads and I do actually have a few videos planned I know they say that a lot but I actually do and um, I actually started working on one a while ago Among Us in Smash um, part 2 or the rematch I was working on that a while ago but I still haven't gotten the recording um, for the reaction of one of uh, enemy teams like what Mario was on in the last video so um when I get that I should be I should start uh, editing that and that should come out and as well me and my cousin have figured out to get mods figured out how to get mods in Mario Kart Wii CGGP but um, something happened with that a while this was all a while ago but something happened with that so uh, I have to get that fixed but yeah, I will have more Mario Kart videos as well as Mario Kart 8 videos. I actually tried to record one a while ago, but I'm I'm rambling. I can have an update video if you guys want that. But um, anyway, uh, mix-ups. Uh, here we go. So before we get started, be sure to hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button to be notified of any future uploads on my channel. And yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are in game, and basically what I'm going to do now is show some top level, high level um, examples of some mix-ups in tournament, and uh, break them down, go in slow motion, um, explain why they're doing a certain mix-up, um, how they're doing it, and things like that. Um, so, here we go. Ooh, that's a nice mix-up. Okay, so that was a clip of Gact vs. Hero on February 1st, 2021 at Tamisuma. Here we are on FD. Bowser is at a noticeable disadvantage, although... He does have three stocks, and Gak only has two. Um, so at this point, with Bowser, everyone knows he has tough guy, so he will not be able to get caught in multi-hit moves very easily. But at this point, uh, at 79, basically 80%, uh, a move like PK Fire will work on Bowser. So here we go. Gak tries to go for the... PK fire to catch him down here while he's trying to recover, but uh, Hero notices that and just gets out of the way. Uh, Gact then reads the roll into a PK fire, and since Bowser is huge and he's a uh, super heavy in this game, the PK fire hit him and in the perfect spot because uh, Bowser will be going this way, or Hero will most likely be DIing this way. Um, because it's PK fire, you always want to DI out, or basically in any combo, you always want to DI out. So, um, 
since he's on basically the right side of the PK fire, Gact has every option he can anything he wants to do right now he can do it it might not kill because bowser is one of the hardest um characters to kill off like the top or something just because he's heavy but um there you go he stays in there forever uh gact goes for the psi magnet stall the quick turnaround short hop psi magnet and then he reads that Hero will try to shield because out of that, out of that uh, Psy Magnet, most people would back air or um, uh, F Smash. So he DI'd out and then shielded, but uh, Gact went for the grab instead, which was a Greet mix up and also a um, DI mix up, I guess, because the DI, um, the angle from forward air, forward throw. To back air is different by quite a lot so then he reads the jump and at this point hero doesn't really have anything to do he air dodges so he wait he uses his air dodge uh, he doesn't have a jump because he just used it trying to get uh, trying to recover high he's at 137 which even as Bowser almost anything Dax does will kill because Ness's all of Ness's moves are super strong so all Gact needs to do is drop down forward air and that's exactly what he does and he kills him off the side at 145. Alright, that was clip number one done, Gact vs Hero, um, the side magnet into turnaround grab. Um, so like I said in my uh, first tutorial video, um, there are many, many different ways to use side magnet. Uh, not only in attacking because it has a set hitbox, it leads into any, many combos. It's a combo starter combo. Uh, you you can gim characters with it. You can just screw around with it. You can have a, an almost infinite. Um, with two nesses, you can have an infinite and movement. Uh, yeah, you can see how Gact uses it. Um, uh, gave him time to um, read the shield from. Uh, hero into the grab so um, Yeah, there are just a lot of different ways to use sign magnet um, So that was clip number one and now we're gonna head into clip number two Sai stalls have been mixing up his timing a lot and that's been so crucial because Ness is pretty flowcharty oh on that oh I my can't God, believe oh, it! I huh, forget timing mix-ups. This guy's mixing up the, your your world Okay, here we have Trella vs. Austin, December 22nd, 2018. This is a grand final set, and as you can see, Trella got destroyed on his second stock. Um, after taking the stock, Austin knows he's at a high percent, so he tries to get away from Ridley fast, and he catches him in a PK fire, and since Ridley, I've been told, has the biggest hitbox in the game, even here, at 0%, he's gonna DI out. But many people at a lower level, these guys aren't low levels, these guys are really amazing at the game, but at even at a higher level, it you just want to get out of PK fire as fast as you can so you roll. And Austin read that, and he caught him in another PK fire, and that first PK fire already did like 12 to 13 damage, and then this one did, got him to 30, and then he did another one. Which, at this point, he couldn't have done anything. He was going to die. Unless he air dodged. But then Austin could have just uh, caught him with anything else. But yeah, you could see how big Ridley is. That little foot right there. I mean, that was just a blowout stock. Zero, uh, zero to death. Um, so Trello really couldn't have done anything, but... Once you get hit in a PK fire, it's just instinct to roll or air dodge, which a lot of my friends, when I play against them, just try to air dodge out or jump out. But after you do that, I, but uh, after you do that so many times, you're gonna start to uh, know how to counter it, which is adaption and mix-ups is what we're doing here. So even after uh, Trella got killed, he comes back. Uh, Austin saw that he was doing that, charging that F smash, so he had 
perfect time to um, use that PK fire while falling, and then he can do another rising PK fire just because Ridley's so big. And then Trella doesn't learn from his mistake before. He rolls again. Maybe it was trying to throw him off because he probably thought Austin would have uh, tried something different, but Austin still sees that, um, and he goes for the grab, which against Ridley, especially at that percent, what percent? Um, around 20. Yeah, tw around 20% against Ridley. He can easily up air. He can up air chain or PK Thunder chain or um, just do a simple fair combo. But he um, he does short hop side magnet, which I don't think that was the best option. But whatever. Trilla uh, air dodges out of it to the left and he's free. So that was that clip. And let's. So we all know that he that getting hit by PK fire basically sucks. In many cases, it means death or 60%. But what happened to Trella was really uh, sad. But honestly, that was his own fault by not adapting. Um, it was a really good play by Austin reading um, the air dodges uh, or the rolls out of PK fire because a lot of people do that. It's just an instinct because uh, PK fire is, if you get hit by it, it's... Uh, in many cases, it's game over. That's about all I have to touch on for this uh, clip, so let's head on to the next one. Okay, so this is a clip of me on my first crew, Smash Shack. It was a long time ago. I had it in my um, uh, in my compilation video um, uh, as a whole. It was a bit broken up, but still. Um, so this is Smash Shack vs. Team Eminence. Uh, Spectre 97 vs. Mitchum. Uh, I am the Ness, of course, and Mitchum is the Samus. I know it says Caleb, but trust me, it's me. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so here we see, right there, I got a PK fire as Mitchum landed, and it hit, like, the arm. So, the way this is right now is excellent for me. Because the PK fire, like, Mitchum is barely in it. So I can just push him in. And then he'll be fully in it. And then he still has to DI. Uh, so what I do next is really nice. Here we go. I fair just to get him out of it. And here, throughout the whole rest of the match, I realized he shields a lot. He plays very defensive. I know he's a Samus, but he plays very defensive um when he needs to in that situation he needed to because i was in uh i was an advantage but then i go for the tomahawk because i was uh i turned around short hopped drifted in like i was gonna back air like i had before in the match uh and then i drifted back out i used down air as i landed to cancel my mo uh to cancel my end lag and i ran up and i forward through him to get him off stage and in an edge guard position for myself. Uh, then I don't know why I did that, but right there, that might not have seemed like much, but uh, early on in the match and a few other times, I did roll into an S match, so I mixed it up and I stopped doing that. And then I go for the PK fire over the platform into a falling up air. I don't know if it landed much, but he has been air dodging as well. Like I said, he plays very defensive. He air dodged when he hit the other platform and when I tomahawked. So he air dodged out and I saw that and I capitalized. I ran forward a little bit more than usual and I nared. So he went backwards and I read, uh, not read, but I guess I read, but he uh, usually lands with back air I saw that as well throughout the rest of the match and I usually ran into it I ran into it I think twice and I didn't do anything about it once and I died from that my first stock that's why I have two stocks or one stock uh, uh, one stock um, but then I make, made it look like I was gonna tomahawk again uh, but then I actually went for the back air this time so I changed it up And now he's off stage at 119. Anything I do here will kill, at least in the position that he's in. He starts charging uh, charge shot 
off stage. I go for the jump, uh, and we'll see what happens here. And I go for the PK Thunder. I am. Um, I could have just hit him with the tail, but I accidentally hit him. So um, that is the the next clip, and uh, that's basically all I have to say. So everybody that's gonna be the end of this video um sorry it was a bit cut short uh originally i planned on having this video a lot longer but if you hear a difference in my voice i'm actually recording this part a long time after i originally recorded most of this video almost everything else was recorded on the same day except for this part uh this video has been put back for a long time um but anyway I finally got around to it, to finishing it, and I do have other videos that have also been pushed back. Only, um, Among Us and Smash Part 2, the rematch, and I am going to be working on that video, um, finishing it this week, hopefully. Um, but I just finished a very stressful week of school, so hopefully that's behind us now. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and peace!